Hey guys, welcome to Atari Series 7. And today I'm reviewing this, which is the DC Multiverse Zoom King Shark Wave action figure. So yeah, really blessed to get this guy. I found out at Walmart, and I pretty much gave up on this wave, because as you'll know, um, this wave came out about a few months ago, um, you know, and then, like, Zoom just was kind of nowhere to be seen, like, no one could really find him, and the wave itself just kind of disappeared, and I only saw the wave one time in the store, and my Walmart brought this wave out for the Justice League, and they had one Flash, one Zoom, two Hawkman, I think one Jim Gordon Batman, didn't see Batgirl, and I think they had three or two of the Dark Knight Joker, so I think they're gonna, like, not have a lot of these Zoom figures, because I know they're kind of, like, limiting the quantity on some of these, which is kind of weird, but yeah, so far this guy's really only been found at Walmart, is what a lot of people have been saying, so it's rumored that he's a Walmart exclusive. Either way, so happy to find this guy, really blessed him, I'm just glad to finally have him in my collection. So up here we have Zoom, and he looks really cool, we got the DC logo, we have the King Shark Wave in the name of the figure, nice clear view of the figure and packaging. We also have the Flash with the Fastest Man Alive put there, and uh, DC Multiverse uh, warnings. On this side, we have a really cool image of Zoom and a bio on him. I don't know if you can read that, but if you can, hit pause if you want to. On the back, we have like King Shark, you know, all the other figures in the wave, how it connects and whatnot, and just warnings. So yeah, let's open this thing up. Uh, yeah, you get uh, two parts of King Shark with this figure. Kind of weird parts. But yeah, it's the head, and looks really cool. Actually, it might review King Shark. I still haven't decided yet. It just kind of depends if I can find the rest of the wave, because this wave is really hard to find. But yeah, and then here's the rest of them. Uh, still looks cool, so let's move on to Zoom. So here we have Zoom, and wow, he just looks so epic out of the packaging. I really love the look of this figure. So uh, here we have his mask, and it looks really cool. Might be a little hard to see, but he actually has kind of, like some silver on the mask, like on the... Uh, like a grill part of it. it looks really cool and creepy um you'll notice these lightning bolts are attached to him which is kind of weird they're like the rubbery uh material of these speed force effects um it's kind of weird they're attached to the figure i do think it looks like really awesome and yeah um you know like if you dislike them you could probably like cut these off but you might want to be careful when you're opening it because what they did was they put them like through the plastic kind of like they do with capes so you might rip these or bend them out of shape when you get them. So just like be careful with that. I really like the silver on the figure. I kind of thought they did a little bit too much silver to be honest. Uh, but I looked it up and he actually does have a little bit of silver on the costume. So yeah, and also in nursing, um, I thought they would just reuse the Barry Allen mold from the first wave. But this is actually a completely different figure. It also has an ab crunch added. But I really like the detailings on the front of the chest, like these little lines. They're not painted, but they look really cool. And I like the silver logo. And uh, yeah, going around the figure, he's also got some detailing at the shoulder. And it is also different from the reverse flashes, because I know he has a bit of a different mold. But yeah, so that's really cool that they actually made a new mold for this guy. I like that. Uh, and he's got some silver going around on the edges, too. Looks really cool. He also has some silver down here. I believe the legs are the same as the Flash Reverse Flash legs, but they still look really neat. In terms of articulation, uh, he's got a 360 at the arms, but you might want to be careful because of the lightning. Well, I mean, it's not going to hinder it at all. But yeah, so you can do that. Bendability at the elbow, 360 at the elbow. 360 at the wrist, which is cool. Uh, his elbow also swings, or not elbow, arm, my bad, arm also swings out, um, 360 at the head, which is cool, and, uh, you know, it's on a ball joint, so it can kind of move up and down a little bit, um, 360 at the waist, but it's really stiff, and whenever they're stiff, I don't like to do it, because, you know, you can break them, so, yeah, uh, but he does have an ab crunch, which is cool, and the legs go forward and back, and they swing out, uh, there's also rotation at the knee, again, really stiff at the thigh, my bad, bendability at the knee, and the legs kick forwards and back. So yeah, the articulation's a bit stiff, but it's pretty good overall, the detailing on this guy is really cool, and lastly, for his two accessories, the blue speed force effect pieces uh, for his wrist, and they look really cool, and you probably could put these on other figures, I would assume you can, because they're literally the same as these gold ones. And, uh, yeah, you can probably put the gold ones on him, too. But, yeah, these things look really cool. I love the Speed Force effect piece. It was one of my favorite things about the Flash of Earth 2 action figure. And I just love it. You know, it adds more to the character. It really makes their action feature work. 
And, uh, you know, when you've got it kind of, like, positioned like this, and with his uh, speed force effect in the background, too, it just makes him look really awesome and really powerful, especially with these. So, yeah, it's really cool. Ultimately, I do like this figure. I think he's really awesome. I love the detail and articulation on this guy. I love the accessories, too, and as for a uh, comparison with him and the Flash, as you can see, they look really cool together. And uh, same for Reverse Flash. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.